All right, so I don't really watch this guy's videos. I really don't, you know, because I don't care. Why would I care what another incel thinks? Why would I? You'd be crazy to care about what a person who hates life, hates who they are, hates their skin color, cares about what you say or think. It would just be preposterous. It would be foolish. It will be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a basic word, retarded for me to care about what some 30 year old who drives trucks, nothing wrong with trucks, but a 30 year old who's depressed, can't get women driving trucks says on the internet. A nigga that can't even show proof that he has a girlfriend. I looked at the comments because I thought the comment, comments that the people made about me were funny as hell. Um, one motherfucker said that y'all should have a rap battle and he said that Simone can't even drive to the rap. I thought that was funny as hell. But, um, yeah, I just look at the comments and stuff like that. And I'm just like, man, how can a guy, how can a guy say that I'm t messing up the gold pill? No, nobody, you even, you have no right to even make content about it. A person who's depressed and not in their right mind can't make content about the gold pill. And if you want to be honest, man, he, he was in my comment section. He started the shit. Only great thing about me is I I propel it. You know what I mean? He that starts the war with me, I just put that shit in overdrive. But he's not really competition, too. You know, I can't make my channel. Um, I can't make my channel about diminishing another person. And that's what I was doing with him. But it's not even just diminishing another person. It's diminishing a weak person. You know, and that's what happened along with 87. You know, he made those videos green lighting people to self-delete themselves and I just couldn't have it. So I made my response. Absolutely cut that motherfucker up like it was um, Jason versus Freddy. With, with Freddy, with uh, Michael Myers refereeing it in a, um, a, a no disqualification bout. WWE rules, extreme rules, whatever the fuck you want to call it. She was a Royal Rumble I did on him. And he deleted his channel. People want to blame it on him with knives and blades, but really it was my it was my force because 37 or whatever minutes, 30 to 30 minutes to an hour after I posted what I posted, he hit that control alt delete on his account. And probably his life. And people are saying, oh, he's trying to backtrack, not talking down on on the guy I had added. Of all, the reason why I didn't go in on him is because I don't know. I feel a lot of I feel a lot of pity for for black people that make black pill content. You know, my content is for all races. You know, it's, it's mainly for Americans, but for people, you know, across the world. But I felt a lot of pity for him, and you know, for the for the other guy. The, the one I originally, not Lone Wolf, but the, I forgot his name. I don't, that's how irrelevant he is to me. But I feel, I feel pity for these black guys because it's like, you're African. Do you not understand how much potential you got? Do you not understand how great you can become if you're willing to change who you are, which is something I'm working on? You know, people are saying I'm fat. Yeah, I am. I don't deny it. That shit doesn't make me mad. But I can lose this fat, which is something I've been working on heavily. People say, you don't got a car. You got to catch Ubers to work. What about it? I got the money to spend Ubers, right? You say, they say, oh, you don't have a car. No, nah, I don't. I sold my car because, one, I didn't need it at that time because I had another car. So I sold it because I didn't want it. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of ifs, ands, maybes, all that shit. But it don't bother me. But back to what I was saying, though, you know, somebody you can't make a person that's autistic or has Asperger's or whatever mental condition. You can't make a video talking about the gold pill and how you're going to transform and change it when you can't even transform or change your mind, your situation. Yeah, you're a truck driver. And I'm sure you're making good money, you know, but your mind is just fucked up. It's like putting lighter fluid on charcoal. 
and mixing bleach and ammonia and pouring it on that too. Like everything about it is screwed up. It's jacked up. You know, you being a truck driver is not the issue. Truck drivers make fantastic money. I got a friend that's a, he doesn't drive trucks right now, but he has a CDL and he can make a good life doing it when he decides to get back into it. But a truck driver is a lonely path and it's, for, and it's a lot of lonely men. And a lonely man who's got no kind of life, you know, on the internet lying and capping about having a girlfriend. I looked at the comments. He said he has a beautiful Asian girlfriend. No, you don't. <sighs> Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh, my God. And so stop your fucking lying. Always lying to me. Lying to me so much. Come on, man. You ain't got no girlfriend. You, you don't. You don't have a girlfriend. You just don't. All right. You're like 30. And I'm 23. You know. And my life's going to get good. And now I'm showing y'all. I'm showing y'all how it is to start at the bottom. And then work your way up. You know what I mean? I'm showing y'all how it is to. Be on. To have high momentum. For it to crash down on you and then to pick it right the fuck back up. You get what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all these things. Um, I'm gonna give y'all some information about me right now and wasn't what I'm what I'm going through. I'm a bartender. I work at a I work at a country club full of rich white people and wealthy white people. And a few rich and wealthy black people. Not a lot though. Hopefully things change. But I'm a bartender. I make fourteen dollars an hour, I get paid tips and I work full time. Um I have a job offer from AT and T. They're offering me twenty seven an hour, um, full time plus overtime. And this week, my chief well earlier today, my chief, who's my recruiter for the Navy, called me and said, "Hey, let's see about getting you to Meps so I can do boot camp." So I'm either gonna go there to Meps Sunday and Monday or Monday and Tuesday. And after I get this court ticket paid, I'll be off to the Navy for basic training. You know what I mean? So I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of good stuff going on in my life. A lot of great stuff. I got a um, job offer from AT&T as an install technician working on, you know, Internet wires and stuff like that for 27 an hour. That's like two thousand dollars biweekly, a thousand dollars a week plus overtime. I can be making like. After taxes, maybe like twenty one hundred a check. And plus, I got the Navy thing. That's all another thing. So, you know, don't think that. And I can show y'all proof if y'all want it, because I'm willing to show proof. You know what I mean? I'm willing to show proof. See, when you get on here, when you on the internet, man, and you're trying to, you know, start bold claims about doing great things, you gotta show some proof. Some proof. You know, gold pill is not about the financials as a whole, all right? It's about getting your mind together and finding your strength and pushing through, you know? No incel, no person who hates who they are, hates their skin color, saying no dumb motherfucker is gonna be on here pushing an agenda to save lives when they themselves don't like their own life. Correction, correction. No person can push an agenda talking about saving lives when they themselves don't love their lives. Saying that, see, and he says he doesn't talk like that, but he does. I've encountered multiple people who talk like him. Nervous, nervous. Cause he can't interact with people. He doesn't know how. He drools when he talks. This nigga has spit running, blah, 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 spit running down his mouth. And it's like he didn't even notice. It's like his mouth was numbed up. Man, like, I don't even see his videos. Like, my my videos will go pill pop up before he does, which is pretty fucking crazy. You know, he says that he came up with the gold pill. No, he didn't. There was a gold pill. There was gold pill content even before him. Even before him. You know, even before he started talking about it. So, hey, I'm here to make things great again. And I'm willing to show proof. Proof 
I'm willing to show proof about my life and the journey of it. So, this is Samoan, not Samoan. Samoan. No, this is Samoan nomad. And he can take the gold pill. Matter of fact, man, take these golden angel wings, baby. Wipe your crusty face with this golden towel, baby. Like and subscribe, and I'm out.